What's up, everybody? All right, so for today, we are going to be looking at doing a really basic drum mix using Reaper. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to organize our mix a little bit. Um, so when we first open it up, we notice that we have track listings on the left-hand side. Uh, if you want to, you can also go to View and go to Mixer and bring up the Mixer View over on this side as well. So whatever you change on this side will also change over here. So what I usually like to do is I usually like to uh, do these in terms of order. So uh, first thing is I'll put the kick drum right up front and I'll just expand a little bit. Next thing I will do is put the snare next. And then if we had a hi-hat, we would put that third, um, but we don't have a hi-hat in this particular track. So we will start with the uh, high tom, mid tom if we had it, and then low tom, which is that T2 right there. Now, if we had an overhead left and an overhead right, we would put those uh, right in this category right here, which they already are. This particular track has an overhead back and an overhead top. So I'll actually just put the top first and then a back. So the top kind of just gives you this overall picture of what's happening. And then we have a really fun track, uh, a tambourine right over here. So we'll put that right at the end. Okay, so now that we have everything organized, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our virtual mixer over here. And we are going to bring down every single track except for the master track, okay? We never really touch the master track. We always leave that right where it is, and that's where it says master right over here, okay? Now, when we do our mixing, we mix from the bottom to the top. That way we have good gain staging. Remember, gain staging is how we manage the volume per track and then the overall volume for the track itself. So remember, all of these tracks will sum together and go to the master fader. But if they're all too loud, then the overall volume in the master fader is going to be way too loud. And we're going to get something called clipping. So we're going to hit play. And we're going to start with the overheads. So we will start with this overhead first. And I'll start it at around zero. Now, if you hold down control and then scroll down, you'll notice that you have a little bit finer control. Okay, so that one went a little too much, and we notice that there's some clipping now. Okay, we got clipping over here, and it clipped in the master fader. So if I click on those, they'll get rid of it, and it's still clipping. So I'll bring this down back to zero. Make sure that's right at zero. Okay, so together, the volumes look okay, but when they sum together, we're noticing now that there's some clipping. So we're going to bring both of those down by 3 dB. Remember, we work in 3 dB increments because a plus 3 dB is actually a doubling of the volume. A minus 3 dB is actually a halving of the volume. And that's close enough right there. So I'll clear that. Now if we notice... That seems much better. I'm just going to pan these left and right and pretend like those are overhead left and right. Cool. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring up our kick drum nice and slow so that it supports the overheads. We don't want to overpower the overhead, but we definitely want to support the overhead with that kick drum. So we can hear the kick drum in there. And if we raise it just enough, now we can hear that kick drum really punch through, but we're not overpowering the mix with just that kick drum, right? So we're going to just make sure that it just supports the overheads. Not enough. There we go. Right around four and a half. And now nothing is overpowering, and we still have good gain staging. We're going to do the same thing with the snare. Good. Okay, so that's just about enough where we want that snare. It's supporting the overhead and the uh, kick drum just fine. Now we're going to find some spots where there's actually some tom hits. So we can see that these tom hits 
one happens here, and then for the low tom it happens here. So I'm just going to start this cursor right here. Okay, so we should hear that high tom at this track. Maybe again. 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 Good. So if we notice, there's also another tom hit here. Nice. Okay. I'm just going to move that a little bit to the left as well, just to try to get it out of the middle. And let's do the same thing with the low tom hit. Because now with that low tom hit, we see that there's a very clear one right here. So anytime you see these really high peaks, that drum has been hit at that point. Okay, so if I raise it a little too much, even though it's not doing uh, any clipping on this end, all summed together, we're noticing we're getting a little clipping on that right-hand side. So let's try to bring that down now. And now we have a very clear picture of what's happening in that drum set. We have that high tom going doo 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 at the across the stereo spectrum because we actually put them that way using the panning. Great. Now the last thing we're going to need to do is add that tambourine which happens about every other hit. So I'm going to just slide that tambourine in really slow. And that's a little too much. Okay, and it's sort of just supporting that snare a little bit now too, so I don't need it as loud as the snare, it's just there as a support instrument. I can even move it all the way over to the left, it might sound really interesting. And that kind of just brings out the tambourine without interfering with the snare drum. Okay, so that is a basic drum mix. Uh, so you're going to start with everything at the bottom and then raise it from the bottom to where it's just supporting the overheads. Okay, after that, you can go through and actually add some EQ. When you add EQ, though, remember EQ is another amplification. So you're going to have to go through and remix. So for every EQ that you put over here, you should start all the way back at the bottom on that track and raise it up so that you then get another balanced mix, okay? This is the process of mixing. It's constantly going back and forth and iterating, readjusting your mix so that you're never clipping on the master fader.